alpha and beta are the zeros of the quadratic polynomial f of x is equal to 2x square minus 4x plus 5. Find the values of alpha square plus beta square and alpha minus beta whole square. So we have this polynomial f of x is equal to 2x square minus 4x plus 5. And in this polynomial we know we know from the relation between the zeros and the coefficients that the sum of the zeros will be equal to minus coefficient of x by coefficient of x square. So in this case, minus coefficient of x is minus 4, coefficient of x square is 2. So this will become 4 by 2. So the sum of the zeros is 2. And now we can write the product of the zeros which is alpha beta is equal to constant term divided by coefficient of x square. Here the constant is 5 and coefficient of x square is 2. So this will be 5 by 2. We have value for alpha plus beta and alpha beta. Alpha plus beta we just found out to be 2. Now we can find the value of alpha square plus beta square first alpha square plus beta square can be written as alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta so we know the uh, algebraic expression a, a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab so in this equation if I take 2ab to the left hand side I will get a plus b whole square minus 2ab equals a square plus b square. So that is how I got this identity from alpha square plus beta square. I can write that is equal to alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta. Now I just have to substitute the values of alpha plus beta and alpha beta. That will give me 2 square minus 2 into 5 by 2. So that will be 4 minus 2 and 2 will get cancelled. So 4 minus 5 alpha square plus beta square is equal to minus 1. Now we will find the value of alpha minus beta whole square. This is of the form a minus b whole square. So we can expand it like alpha square plus beta square minus 2 alpha beta. We just found the value of alpha square plus beta square to be minus 1. So this term can be written as minus 1 minus 2 into value of alpha beta was pi by 2. So that gives us minus 1 minus 2 and 2 will get cancelled so minus 5 which is minus 6. So the answer to the first question which is alpha square plus beta square is minus 1 and this second part alpha minus beta whole square is equal to minus 6. If you have any doubts in this question feel free to discuss in the comment section. Thank you.